Welcome back to our channel. Today, we are delving into the captivating world of the Ashanti tribe in Ghana. Get ready to uncover the ancient burial rituals of these fascinating people, as we explore the awe-inspiring golden tombs of their rulers. From the elaborate ceremonies to the treasures and servants buried alongside them, this is a topic you won't want to miss. So, make sure to stick around until the end to discover the secrets hidden within these tombs. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and leave your thoughts in the comments below. Let's dive in. The Ashanti tribe in Ghana has a rich cultural heritage that spans centuries. One of the most fascinating aspects of their traditions is the burial of their rulers in golden tombs accompanied by servants and treasures. This unique burial practice is a testament to the Ashanti people's reverence for their leaders and their belief in the afterlife. When an Ashanti ruler passes away, elaborate preparations are made for their burial. The first step is the construction of a magnificent tomb made entirely of gold. This tomb serves as the final resting place for the ruler and is a symbol of their importance and power. The entire process of constructing the tomb is shrouded in secrecy, with only a select few individuals allowed to witness it. Once the tomb is completed, the ruler's body is prepared for burial. The body is meticulously cleaned and adorned with traditional clothing and jewelry. It is then placed inside the golden tomb, which is sealed to ensure the ruler's eternal rest. The entire process is carried out with utmost care and respect, as the Ashanti people believe that the ruler's spirit will continue to guide and protect them in the afterlife. But the burial of the ruler does not end there. In addition to the golden tomb, servants and treasures are also interred with the ruler. This practice reflects the Ashanti people's belief in the importance of hierarchy and the ruler's continued authority in the afterlife. The servants are chosen from among the ruler's most loyal and trusted followers, and they willingly sacrifice themselves to serve their leader even in death. The treasures buried with the ruler are a testament to the wealth and prosperity of the Ashanti kingdom. Gold, ivory, and other precious materials are placed alongside the ruler, symbolizing their status and power. These treasures are believed to accompany the ruler in the afterlife, ensuring their continued wealth and influence. The burial of the ruler in golden tombs with servants and treasures is not just a symbolic gesture. It also serves practical purposes for the Ashanti tribe. The golden tombs act as a deterrent to grave robbers and thieves, as the value of the gold alone is enough to discourage any attempts to disturb the resting place of the ruler. Additionally, the inclusion of servants and treasures ensures that the ruler's needs are met in the afterlife, guaranteeing their continued protection and guidance for the Ashanti people. The practice of burying rulers in golden tombs with servants and treasures is a unique and fascinating aspect of Ashanti culture. It reflects their deep respect for their leaders and their belief in the afterlife. This burial tradition also serves practical purposes, ensuring the ruler's eternal rest and protecting their remains from desecration. The Ashanti tribe's rich cultural heritage is preserved in these golden tombs, serving as a testament to their history and traditions.